Good evening, everyone. This is the Token Talk Show. Tonight we'll be covering the Badger Wallet. Unlike the Electron Cash Wallet, the Badger Wallet is a browser-based wallet. As you can see right here, it is a Chrome extension as of the moment. You can also see its little symbol up here, although it will be a bit hard to see in the video. The reason to use the Badger Wallet is that it's very simple. You can see on the left hand side, every token and coin you would have would be listed along this. It does go down further the more you have. You have your Bitcoin Cash address that you can click and copy without any trouble along with your simple ledger address. The simple ledger address is the address that gets you your tokens. So the Badger Wallet also accepts Bitcoin Cash tokens. Because it accepts both Bitcoin Cash and Bitcoin Cash tokens, it's something very easy to use and very convenient. Now, as you can see, we have two options here, deposit and ascent. It's also asking me to back up my wallet because I haven't, but this is mostly a demonstration wallet to show you how it works. That's why I deposited 70 cents USD of BCH and 100 Bcash, which is a small token I had on another wallet. Clicking the deposit, let's see what it says real quick. Well, you can see I want to directly deposit Bitcoin Cash or I can buy on Bitcoin.com. Clicking this link will take you to an external site. Buy Bitcoin with credit card, where it will ask for your credit card, the amount you want to buy, and the wallet address you're going to be buying too. But this isn't what we want to do right now. Clicking Faucet will take you to another external site, or really, the same one. Bitcoin.com Now as you go down, it'll ask you to verify through Google. We're going to do that real quick. Now that we've verified through Google, we can technically copy and paste. Having just copied and pasted our wallet address and clicking the button, we can scroll down to see what it says. Our region has reached the maximum amount of claims. What this means is that people have already taken the coin enough times in my region that I can no longer get some. So it's not something to particularly worry about. Now the thing is, this is the separate tab for the Badger Wallet. This is not how it looks if you go to this little icon here and you click it. It brings up a different form of Badger Wallet. Clicking this will open it in the tab like I've got it shown to you now. This is your menu that takes you down to your coins and your addresses, and then the details of your account. Scrolling down, it'll tell you what transactions I've got. This is important to know. You can also click on viewer history and you can see what uh, transactions you've sent in a good portion of time. It goes pretty far back. Now, this is a test wallet. I mostly sent some things around to show that I could, and it works perfect. The thing is also important to remember is that on the Badger Wallet, you can create multiple accounts. It'll give you a slight warning here about your depreciating accounts, but then you can click back over to your other account. I've not had any problems with this, but I haven't made too many accounts. And so if you end up making 40 accounts, do be careful. It gives you the warning and read there for more. And that's almost all the Badger Wallet, except the most important part after you've got your BCH in there, how can you send it? The Badger Wallet's actually quite nice. The thing is, you can get the Badger Wallet on your phone, and that comes with a lot of nifty features. But one of them is QR codes. The Badger Wallet includes a QR code function. You can scan QR codes right into your Badger Wallet and immediately send tokens places. It also has a recipient address and a to and amount, and it tells you you can send an amount in USD, or I can send 0.2 BCH and it'll tell me the amount of USD I'm going to send. Now, both of these are nice depending on what you're working in and it saves you a lot of hassle of calculating it all out. And that's basically the Badger Wallet. It's a simple, very easy to use, very easy to understand, even easier to install. If you type right into a Google search, you'll see Badger Wallet comes up first on Bitcoin.com. It's easy to add, it's easy to install, and it's easy to use. And it's something I personally do recommend, but I also recommend you get an Electron Cash wallet as well. There's nothing wrong with having too many wallets.